what are the most beautiful cities in the world? This is a question that keeps a lot of us up at night. I mean, honestly, who hasn't forgotten to do their taxes because they're totally consumed with that age old question. Where can I find the most beautiful city on the planet? Well, today I'm going to help you out with that question. We're looking at what 2000 travel professionals from around the world think are the most visually stunning cities to visit. These are travel professionals from around the globe that include travel agents, cruise directors, travel bloggers, travel vloggers, travel photographers, and one 72 year old retiree named Stu that considers himself quite the shutterbug. This video is the opinion of those travel professionals. When you want to leave that comment and say that this list is biased, you are correct. It is. Opinions are biased. That's sort of the whole idea behind an opinion. You might as well have said this list is made by humans. We're all biased about everything. On this list, I'm going to give you those cities, how many people visit every year, and some things you need to see if you do visit. The world is somewhat getting back to normal and it's time to travel. Get it? Got it? Good. Let's take a look. Number 10. Singapore. I think most people that have ever been to Singapore kind of agree this is a very beautiful city. Singapore is officially known as the Republic of Singapore, and it's a sovereign island country and city-state in Southeast Asia, about 85 miles north of the equator. It is on the southern tip of the Malay Peninsula. Singapore is really not that big, but they see about 19 million visitors every single year. Now, this is pre-pandemic years, so we're talking 2019, 2018, 2017. This is about what they averaged, and that's overall. You might find other stats that say they only had like 8 million or something like that, but those are going by flights and how many people were on the flights, things like that. Overall, they claim that they see about 19 million visitors a year. If you do visit Singapore, travel professionals suggest that you go to the full Fullerton Hotel in Singapore. That is a classic historic hotel. And they say visit gardens by the bay. There's a lot of different gardens in Singapore. This is one of the better ones. Number nine, Lisbon, Portugal. Lisbon is the capital and the largest city in Portugal with an estimated population of about 550,000 residents. Now, the whole metro area around there has almost 3 million, but they got about 550,000. I've always felt that Portugal is sort of an overlooked European country. You always hear about France, Italy, Germany, the UK, Spain. You even hear more about Switzerland and the Netherlands than you do about Portugal, even though it's a very welcoming, historic, and beautiful country. It's estimated that Lisbon sees about 3.6 million tourists every year, with a lot of them coming in on cruise ships. They have a pretty active cruise port there. Lisbon's a great place if you're a history buff and want to see like old, really nice architecture. They have palaces, some really cool towers, monasteries, those type of things. A lot of old architecture to see here. And if you want to stay in one of those old places, try that Avenida Palace Hotel. That one's pretty cool. Number eight, Amsterdam, the Netherlands. Amsterdam is the capital of the Netherlands and it's known for its really artistic heritage, its canal system, and their houses that are right on top of each other that look amazing. They say the homes have gabled facades, legacies of the city's 17th century golden age. Amsterdam seems to be one of those places that all the travel vloggers on YouTube seem to end up. At least at one point, they always are riding a bike in Amsterdam. Amsterdam is an amazingly beautiful city, though. I mean, it just kind of makes you feel like you're going back into a historic novel or something like that. Now, there's a lot of things to do in Amsterdam, but one of the main things you need to do is just walk around the city. Just walk around and enjoy it. Take some pictures. It's a beautiful place. The city itself is the attraction. At least that's my opinion. When it comes to places to stay, they have all the typical Marriott's and Hyatt's and all that stuff. But one place that isn't that big that gets good reviews is the Amsterdam Canal Hotel. That's right there along the canal, obviously, if the name didn't tip you off. And it's an old school like apartment building that's been turned into a hotel, it seems like. Amsterdam sees about 8.8 .8 million tourists every single year. They get a lot of business travelers, too, which I don't think are counted in their tourism thing. Number seven, Cape Town, South Africa. Cape Town's one of those places you never really think about. I mean, I know about Cape Town and it's been put on my radar, mostly from watching Casey Neistat's vlogs over the years. His wife's from Cape Town. I've never been to Cape Town, but it looks beautiful. 
It's sandwiched between some beautiful coastline and some mountains, like right behind the city, it's mountains, and then you got the ocean and beautiful beaches. Walking and hiking around Cape Town is like one of the more popular things to do for tourists. Hiking up to Lion's Head is one of the more popular hikes, which you could get up the top there and it's beautiful. You could just see the entire city, the ocean. It's great. Now this is kind of strange. Cape Town is one of South Africa's three capital cities. One of the places everyone suggests you stay in Cape Town is the President Hotel. Cape Town draws about 5 million tourists annually. I would have thought more than that, but I guess it's really hard to get to. Not really hard to get to, but it's a little out there. I mean, there's nothing else really around it that people be going to. Like if you're in, you know, Europe, you can hit Spain, Portugal, the Netherlands all in one, you know, week. But this one's kind of out there by itself. Number six, Barcelona, Spain. This one I totally agree with. I would have actually put Barcelona up there a little bit higher, but this is what those travel professionals say. Barcelona is an amazing Spanish city. Great architecture, festivals all the time. Just a great city to visit. This is another place that is big when it comes to architecture. If you want to see old historic buildings, just beautiful churches, go to Barcelona. It's also a great place if you like to drink wine. It's also right there in the Mediterranean, so there's plenty to do in the water. Barcelona is also another hot spot for cruise ships to come cruising through. Matter of fact, one of the best hotels to stay at is, it's not one of the historic ones. They've got a lot of historic old buildings that have hotels and stuff, but one that's highly rated and a lot of people like to stay in is Eurostar. Grand Marina. You could stay there and wait for your cruise ship to come in. Barcelona sees more than 27 million visitors a year. Now I'll remind you, this is 2019 and you know before. It's been a little bit sparse lately in most of these places. For example, in 2021, Barcelona saw less than 5 million tourists and in 2020, they saw a little over 3 million. There are organizations that say that they only see about 15 million a year, but their tourism board says they see about 20 million. Number five, Vancouver, Canada. Yeah, Vancouver, BC, it's a nice place. I don't know if it belongs on a list of the most beautiful cities, but here it is, according to the travel professionals. And I mean, who can argue with the travel professionals? I will actually be in Vancouver, BC in 21 days. So uh, yeah, I'll give it another look. It's been a couple years. Last time I was there, they had a pretty good homeless encampment going on in one of the parks I walked by. But people do consider Vancouver one of the most beautiful cities on the planet. This is another one that's really big with cruise ships. And if it's a beautiful city, normally it's attracting cruise ships. Cruise ships are most of the time filled with a lot of older people. A lot of older people don't want to go to theme parks, stuff like that. They want to see beautiful cities. They want to explore the world. And this is why they get cruises. From my personal experience, I've stayed in like four different hotels there. And one of the higher rated ones is the Rosewood Hotel, which is down by the cruise port. I've stayed at that one. It's a nice hotel. It's really nice. There's a lot to do in Vancouver just like any major city. There's all kinds of tours you could take that'll take you on hikes out in the mountains around Vancouver. You could also go whale watching, which is pretty cool. I grew up in a town where whale watching was a big thing, but we just saw the migration of like the blue whales. In Vancouver, you can go out and see like orca, stuff like that. They also have a ton of really cool gardens. That's one of their main attractions. Vancouver sees about 20 million tourists annually. Number four, Venice, Italy. Yes, no list of beautiful cities would be complete without Venice. You know, one other major Italian city that's not on here, I really thought we'd see Rome, but then I start thinking about it. Rome is more of a historic city and less of a beautiful city. It is beautiful, but when you're talking the top 10, eh, they're a little on the outside of that. Historic though, they're probably number one. Interesting thing about Venice, because the pandemic and less people and less cruise ships and less everything, uh, a lot of the sea life came back back to the canals and stuff like that and the water was clear. I'm sure it's going to go back to its same murkiness that it's been for, you know, the last 40 years. But that was kind of an interesting thing. Fewer people made the water clear. I, I think that's amazing. Sightseeing and walking around the city, taking gondola rides, that's what you do in Venice. There's plenty of things to do, but most people just go there to take it in, eat some food, see how beautiful this city is, take some tours, walking around the city. It's an amazing city. My son, who's editing this video, uh, he spent a lot of time there. He was stationed in Italy and Venice was like, I think two hours away from him. I just looked it up. It's a little over an hour away. Venice sees about 20 million tourists annually. In 2020, Venice saw about 900,000 tourists. That's it. 
20 million to 900,000. 2021, they moved up to 1.5 million, but they were, you know, far off from their 20 million. We'll see what 2022 and 2023 brings them. One of the best places to stay is Al Teatro Palace. Number three, London, England, United Kingdom. Everybody knows London and everybody knows that it's a historic and beautiful city. Now, it does have some areas you probably don't want to be in, and that's with every city on the planet. Any place there's human beings or alligators or crocodiles, there's a potential for some danger. London's no different. London is a beautiful and historic city, and a lot of people visit there every single year. You can go see Buckingham Palace, Hyde Park, Kensington Palace, Big Ben, the London Eye. You gotta see St. Paul's Cathedral. While in London, make sure you ask a local where the Thames River is, and then stand there and wait for them to correct you. It's actually pronounced Thames, and it's the River Thames, not Thames River or Thames River. Back in the day, this is how everyone got around London. I mean, on personal boats, on water taxis, whatever they had, this is how people got around London, this river. It goes all the way through the middle of town, or the city. London normally sees about 30 million visitors a year. In 2021, they saw about 2.5 million visitors. If you're looking for a good place to stay, check out the Sea Containers Hotel. That's an interesting place. Number two, New York City. Yeah, that's a little strange. I didn't expect to see New York City on this. I mean, it is one of the most traveled two cities on the planet. Got tons of things to do, tons of things to see. I just never thought it was that beautiful. I mean, it's a nice city, like every place, like I just said about London's got some areas you gotta stay out of, but overall, New York City is a decent place. I just don't know if I would consider it one of the most beautiful cities on the planet, especially number two. What do you think? Now, this obviously is only going off major cities, and I'm sure you could find some smaller cities in the United States, like I think Charleston, South Carolina is probably one of them. A lot of small cities up in New England that are even more beautiful, but this is obviously going on major cities. And only a major city can pull in tourist numbers like New York City can. 66.6 million visitors annually. That's what they average. In 2020, that number dropped down to 22 million. But 66 million people is a lot of people to come to a city, no matter how big it is. Obviously, if you're going to go to New York City, you got to go see Times Square. That's like the biggest draw. Of course, you're going to go see the Statue of Liberty, which is technically in New Jersey. There's some interesting ins and outs of that whole thing. It takes its own video, but yeah, it's technically in New Jersey's waters. And I'm sure more than once at some bar in New Jersey, some dudes have thought, you know what? That's our island. We got to get out there and take it. And in the sober light of day, they couldn't find a boat. So the raid was over. When it comes to hotels in New York City, there's just too many to name. I mean, you're probably going to want to stay downtown in Manhattan, uh, maybe Chelsea, something like that. But it's wherever you're going to stay you got to choose one and there's a lot to choose from so i'm not even going to get into it all right before we get to number one don't forget we have another channel called on this day there is a link down below i'd love it if you went over there subscribe maybe watch some videos give a big thumbs up leave a couple comments tell me what your birthday is maybe you'll get a shout out who knows all right on to number one and number one Paris, France. Yeah, who didn't see this one coming? This again is on the surface, yes, Paris, France is one of the most beautiful cities, but it's also pretty dirty in a lot of areas that have turned a lot of people off. But it's still a beautiful city. And travel professionals agree it is one of it is the most beautiful city actually on the planet. Paris sees about 19 million tourists every single year. Now, I did a little deeper digging into that one because that seemed kind of low. And I did see some reports that claim they see closer to 30 million on a normal year. Now, they took it pretty hard in 2021. They only saw about 12 million. And I saw another report that said it was closer to 5 million. So I'm not sure about their numbers, but it's still considered one of the most beautiful cities on the planet. If you've ever been to Paris, you're probably going to say, nah, it's a little dirty. I guarantee someone's going to say that in the comment section. And it's still beautiful, though, and historic. This is another one where I don't feel comfortable telling you where the best hotel is. That's up to you, depending on what you want to see and what you want to do. I mean, it's kind of central to everything. Go see Eiffel Tower, the Louvre, tons of museums, palaces. 
Maybe you just want to tour the city on your own, take pictures of great architecture and visit Parisian cafes and mispronounce croissant and watch the waiter or waitress kind of cringe. Saw one local Parisian girl on her video. She said that more than once people have asked her where Starbucks is. And she said, don't ask that. It's a good way to get at least a bad look, possibly slap. I doubt people are going that far, but there's some French people a little uppity when it comes to their uh, cafes and stuff like that. All right, that is the most beautiful cities on the planet. Uh, very interesting video, kind of a little different. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you got some information out of it. Now go out, have a great day, and be nice to each other.